I feel like the Guardian has not done a good job of protecting my mom. As long as she has people around who are yes people, I know that she's not getting the help that she needs or getting better. I've got so much money. I want it for my son. <laughs> I want to give some love to my son, Kevin. It's me and you, kid. There's been a lot of buzz about Wendy's son getting emotional over her decision to get back together with Kevin Hunter. We all know Wendy is used to being in the limelight, but this time it's hitting close to home. I'm afraid that she could die. There was no way we were gonna, we were gonna proceed with this without the family completely on board. The situation is pretty sensitive. Wendy's personal life has been under a lot of scrutiny and her rekindled relationship with Kevin Hunter has stirred up a lot of emotions, not just for her, but for her son too. It's a tricky situation and we're here to break it all down. So if you've been on social media, you've probably seen Wendy Williams' recent documentary Bombshell. In a raw and emotional moment, Wendy opened up about her declining health and financial struggles. The documentary gives us a glimpse into Wendy's world as she talks about her new medical conditions worsening her health. She also reveals that a court-appointed guardian now controls her finances, a heartbreaking reality for someone who worked hard for her money. In a touching moment, Wendy refers to herself as Wendy Hunter, hinting at a possible reunion with her ex-husband Kevin Hunter. This name change reflects a connection to her past and a desire to reclaim what was lost. Wendy's vulnerability is evident as she shares these personal details, drawing her fans into her struggles. The documentary not only highlights her health and financial issues, but also sets the stage for a potential rekindling of her relationship with Kevin Hunter. This revelation has sparked speculation and concern among fans. Is Wendy's desire to reconnect with Kevin genuine, or is there more to the story? I'm going to be doing such fun things on my new TV show. Okay. And I'm going to have, um, you know, I don't want to just write it because it will get off. You know what I'm saying? So I have like a paint thing. Yeah, it's to paint. Okay. She looked confused and she looked skinny. Like she needs a break. Now the first two episodes of Where is Wendy Williams aired on Saturday and they gave us a glimpse into Wendy's health struggles that led to her leaving her talk show and being put under guardianship. Wendy, who is 59 years old, was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia last year, which is a type of cognitive decline that can cause memory loss and personality changes. However, her team only made her condition public this week. Interestingly, Bruce Willis was also diagnosed with the same condition in 2022. The four-part documentary on Lifetime shows Wendy's family, friends, and care team dealing with the challenges of her condition, including her dependence on alcohol. In the first episode, Wendy talked about her relationship with alcohol, saying that she loves vodka. However, she mentioned that her sister Wanda doesn't like her drinking, and her 23-year-old son, Kevin Hunter Jr., hates liquor. Throughout the documentary, we see Wendy getting emotional during interviews. In one interview, she was asked if there are any relationships she wants to repair, and she tearfully admitted that her alcohol consumption has created a rift between her and her son. When asked why she hasn't repaired that relationship, Wendy said that nothing is stopping her except for her son's dislike of liquor. Despite recognizing that her drinking is affecting her relationship with her son, she also defended her choices at another point, saying that she will smoke and drink when she wants to. So what's the tension between you and Kevin? Nothing, except for he hates liquor. They basically said that because she was drinking so much, um, it was starting to affect her, her headspace and her brain. So I think they said it was alcohol-induced dementia. Yeah. Later on, Wendy Williams spilled some serious tea and now everyone's talking about her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter. His reaction to the documentary has got people scratching their heads. Kevin's response was totally unexpected. He claimed he had no idea what was in the documentary and was really pissed off about how Wendy was being portrayed. He even went public with his anger, saying they were just trying to make more money off of her, even though she's sick and needs a break. People weren't buying it though. They thought maybe Kevin had some other motives. I mean, he used to be Wendy's manager and made a lot of money off of her success, so some people wondered if he was just trying to get back into her life for financial support. Some folks think Kevin's concern is genuine, but others think he's just trying to take advantage of Wendy's vulnerability. 
It's a real mess and people can't stop talking about it. Let's dig into Wendy and Kevin's history to understand the recent drama. Their relationship has been filled with cheating, money troubles, and scandalous events that have left a massive impact on both of them. Kevin's cheating scandal rocked their marriage when it was revealed he had a child with another woman while still married to Wendy. This, along with financial issues, caused a lot of drama for the couple. Things got even worse when Wells Fargo froze Wendy's bank accounts in 2022, leading to concerns about her mental health and financial management. This not only affected Wendy but also hit Kevin hard as he relied on her alimony payments. With all this financial chaos, Kevin suddenly seems interested in Wendy's life again. People are questioning if his motives are genuine or if he's just after money, given his past involvement in Wendy's finances. As we uncover more about Wendy and Kevin's rocky past, we see the complexities of their relationship. The financial troubles and potential ulterior motives add an extra layer of drama to their story. As we dive into Wendy Williams' life, things get even more complicated with the news of her recent health diagnosis. Her family recently revealed that she has been diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontal temporal dementia, which affect her language and cognitive abilities. This sheds light on the daily struggles Wendy faces. Her family's decision to make this information public shows their desire for transparency and understanding. Primary progressive aphasia is a rare neurological disorder that gradually impairs language skills. In Wendy's case, this diagnosis reveals the difficulty she faces as her ability to process information declines. The frontal temporal dementia aspect adds to the challenges causing erratic behavior and trouble with financial transactions, as mentioned in the family statement. In her recent documentary, Wendy's son Kevin Hunter Jr. steps forward to shed light on the connection between his mother's health and her battle with substance abuse. Kevin Jr. Dot's revelations provide insight into the complexities of Wendy's journey, where personal struggles mix with her public persona. I've never, I've never taken it with the Argus, and I've always like spoken to her, and she's always wanted me to like, you know. Spend her, like spend her money. Now, there's been a lot of buzz on social media about Wendy Williams' documentary. Fans have different opinions and concerns about her journey. On Twitter, one person expressed sympathy for Wendy, saying it's heartbreaking to see her going through health struggles. He reminded everyone that fame doesn't protect you from life's challenges and wished her strength and healing by stating, heartbreaking to see Wendy Williams facing such health struggles. Fame doesn't shield anyone from life's challenges wishing her strength and healing. But not everyone was sympathetic. Another person on Twitter warned Wendy to be careful about getting back together with her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter. He wrote, Wendy needs to be careful about letting Kevin back into her life. He's not good. Don't let him take advantage of your simplicity. Meanwhile, on Instagram, a user posted, it's sad to see her health decline. This documentary reveals the harsh realities of fame and its toll on mental health. On the flip side, there were expressions of doubts regarding Kevin's intentions. A user commented on YouTube, Kevin Hunter's sudden concern seems fishy. Is it genuine or a ploy for financial gain? Wendy should proceed with caution. The comments on different platforms show that people have different opinions. Some are empathetic and understanding, acknowledging Wendy's vulnerability, while others are warning her about potential problems in her personal life. But what do you guys think about Wendy's health condition and all the family drama that's been exposed? And how do you see her son's surprising response? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.